Coming to you from Brooklyn, New York. My name is Robert Nathan, and you're watching Trucker Josh videos. Enjoy. Morning time. Diesel, it's morning time. Diesel, you back there? Diesel? Oh, he's looking out the window. Oh, he's excited. I'm excited. We're in La Range, Saskatchewan. I almost said La Range, Quebec. It's a French name for a town, right? So you want to assume that it's in Quebec, but it's in northern Saskatchewan. There were some French people up here at one point, and they made a town, and here it is. And now it is a First Nations reserve. I slept with the good First Nations people tonight and they kept me safe. It was a good night. So I'm gonna go drop off this freight that I got on my trailer for them. Got a couple of pallets for them. And you know, I'm gonna go bring it over to them. I don't want them, I don't want them anymore. Uh, I'm tired of carrying them around with me everywhere. You know, they're weighing me down. So once I get that off my trailer, I don't exactly know the plan yet. There was one plan that I may have to get back into Manitoba for a reload, but there's another plan that I may just need to go to Saskatoon for a reload, and I'm thinking that's the one they're leaning towards, because that's a lot closer. If I showed the map at the beginning of this vlog, you'll see that I'm like way up north in Quebec, like halfway up the province. Uh, those from out of the country may think that, oh, that's not north. Well, I'm a southern boy. I live along the American border. I'm the weather stripping of America. I, I try to cling to their warmth as much as I can. So this is far north for me. Though, I do have plans one day that I do want to drive up north, like in my pickup truck though, up to like Nunavut. Well, I can't drive to Nunavut, there's no roads there. You have to go there in the wintertime, my ice roads. Uh, Northwest Territories and Yukon. I'd love to go visit those places yet. One of these years, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it, just, I'm just gonna give her. Take this guy out. I'm trying to hold her steady for you. Wait for it. My hands are really not that steady. Look at him go. That's awesome. Cool. Sorry for the shaky image people. I was zoomed way in and it's very hard to hold this camera steady. So we're here in La Ronge still. Just finished delivering, and now, Diesel, where are we going now? Want to tell the good people? Tell the good people, where are we going? No? Have I told you yet? Well, I haven't told you. Oh, you got stuff in your eyes. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's what you're waiting for. See my eyes out, man. See what kind of owner are you? I'm a terrible one, apparently. We're going to Regina, Saskatchewan. That's the capital of Saskatchewan. That's in the southern part of the province. So we got quite a ways to go down to uh, get there. They close at three and it doesn't look like I can make it there by then, obviously, because I'm way up here in the north. So we're going to be reloading first thing in the morning tomorrow. I still got to figure out where that's going. And I need a haircut. It's falling out on its own, but until it's all gone, I still need to cut it, which is annoying. Like getting a haircut is annoying. It takes up so much time, you know? I got so many other better things I could be doing. Just leaving Lac Orange First Nation here. I think last night I said this was First Nation number 158, right? It's First Nation 156. Just clarifying that in case anybody's watching out here and they're like, hey, that's the wrong number. First Nations Reserve number 156. They got a trading post here, like a fur trading post, like, like they used to do fur trading. I thought that was awesome. I didn't have time to go look in there yet, but the, the customer where I delivered to is telling me it's a pretty nice place in there. I didn't know they still traded furs. That was interesting. So now we got, what, 237 kilometers down to Prince Albert. And what, another hour and a half, two hours down to Saskatoon? That's where I want to fuel. 
I'm sitting at just below a half a tank right now, so I should be able to make it about 500 miles or close to a thousand kilometers on this yet, but I'm not gonna try. <laughs> I don't like, in the summertime, I don't like going below a quarter tank, and in wintertime, I don't like going below a half a tank, if at all possible, if I have a choice. That's just my thing. That's not like a rule that you have to follow or anything, it's just my rule for me. All in all, we have six hours of driving or so today. Then we'll be in uh, the capital. Excuse me. You know, I've said it before, and you know what I'm going to say again, because I think of this every time I sneeze. How long is it going to be until they make sneezing and driving illegal? Just saying. Takes your eyes off the road. Don't you think? It should be illegal. Some bureaucrat somewhere needs to make another law right now. Just coming into Saskatchewan here right now. The Flying J off on our left there. Husky is off to our right. A little out of sight. I am headed down straight through the city towards Regina, which is south. About another two and a half hours. In a Saskatchewan couple of days. Yep, Saskatchewan. This is an air seeder though, isn't it? Wrong season, buddy. It's time to harvest, not seed. You got the wrong machine there. Wonder if he knows? I'm behind a Sobeys here in Regina. And it's this big wide open parking lot. Like it's wide open and nobody ever uses it. Sobeys is sort of like a safe way, eh? Huh. So I figured, why not get some nice peace and quiet tonight and just stay here? I went across the street to grab some food just now, and I came back here, I'm like, huh, that's a Walmart right there. I got Walmart there, I got Sobeys here. Privacy and quietness here. No signs anywhere that say no parking. Well, I'll be. This is where I'm gonna spend the night. If they tell me to move, well, then I'll move. See, I wouldn't try this in the States or in, like I said a couple days ago, east of the Mississippi where there's lots and lots of people. Uh, most businesses in the big cities, they don't like it when you park in their parking lots because they need it for customers and deliveries and whatnot. Up here in Regina, there's nothing here, nothing here. This, I'm not gonna be bothering anybody here. I'll probably be gone before they even open up tomorrow. I don't think I'll have any problems. You can see Diesel in there staring at me. Why'd you leave me in here, man? <laughs> There's my Falcon Eye dash cam right up there. It works really good. I'm really happy with it. I gave one away uh, to Jason McDougall just a couple weeks ago. He sent me a picture of it when he received it. So just this direction, away from my truck, away from Sobeys, I see this big open grass area here. See this? I'm wondering what it's for. All these pegs are all over the place. You see that? 
I'm wondering if this is one of those uh, places where they, you know, grow different kinds of sod and lawn and whatnot and test it out or what is this place? Why don't they use it? They obviously have it cleared away for something and they mow the lawn, so it goes forever out there. It almost looks like a runway. Eh? If I had a plane, I would land it here. Huh. There's something over there. It's obviously got to do something with this property here. I don't know. It's fenced in, so I'm guessing it's government. Right? What does that look like to you guys? Power lines, maybe? Or gas lines? I don't know, but these pegs are everywhere, all over here. See that? Strange. I was gonna let diesel run around in here. What do you guys think? You think it'd be okay to let diesel run around in here? It doesn't look anything special. I'm gonna let him run around. Why not? You leave a big open grass area like this, you're gonna get dogs running around in it. What do you expect? Yo, go check it out, man. You claim all those trees there, man. I want you to go around and claim every single peg, okay? Might take a while. But I believe in you. And that was my day. I'm gonna put this all together now. Do a little bit of catch up, watch some TV. Diesel, anything you need to get done? <laughs> Everything's done that you need to get done now, right? So sometimes you just have short days. I drove about six and a half, maybe seven hours today. I'm just gonna tally it all up, get my logbook all finished and whatnot. It's gonna be nice once I'm on e-logs because I won't have to do that anymore. It'll do it for me. Turns out I'm actually going on e-logs earlier than January. Uh, last time I was at the office, two days ago, uh, they called me in there and they asked if I would like to try it out a little sooner. And Yeah, sure, why not? I was gotta do it anyways, let's just get it over with. So the next time I'm at home for a few days, I'm gonna go in for a training course on it. And then they're gonna activate it here in my truck and I'll be officially on e-log. So before fall time, probably. Less work for me to do. Let the computers do the thinking. I'm not very good at thinking anyways. So once I understand the system and everything really well and I feel I can explain it to you guys, I'll do just that. I'll walk you through how the e-log works and whatnot for those of you who are curious, because I'm curious. I gotta go through the course yet to learn. So once I'll learn, I'll learn you. We'll both be learned. And there we go. I'll see you tomorrow at 4 a.m. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, whether it's above the screen or below the screen on YouTube. Helps me out a lot. Hit that like button if you like the video, and I'll see you tomorrow.